Okay, so this is a little tutorial on how to use Animoto. Uh, Animoto does most of the work for you, especially, especially the tedious stuff. So we're going to go to the Animal, what, Animoto website, and I'm going to click on Create a Video. Now they give you lots of different formats that you could use. Um, for our free account, we can only do the ones that say Preview and Create. So we can do these top row and a couple of other ones in here. I'm just going to go with just a blank slate kind of look. So uh, we'll click on the, the original. And there's basically three steps. Put in your pictures or videos, get your music, and then it builds it. So I can either upload pictures from my computer or pick some from their collection. So I'm going to grab a bunch that I did, uh, that I already have on my computer. And I'm just going to make a quick little thing about sharks. So I have a bunch of pictures that I went and found online and about sharks, and I'm going to just throw them all in there. <laughs> and this is my picture page, all popping up here. Um, I can add more. I can add a text slide, and we'll do that. Right here is my text slide. And one flaw of Animoto is that you are limited to how many characters you can use in your text, but actually it's not a bad thing, otherwise students end up writing an entire paragraph or something that's only going to be up there for about four seconds. There we go. And um, I can spotlight a video or a picture here. Um, if I spotlight it, it means the it'll spend a little bit more time on that one than some of the other ones. So let's see, I can duplicate, I can delete, I can shuffle them around. But that's pretty good right there. I'm going to add one more thing here. I'm going to show you that you can add videos, and I'm going to select it from their collections too. So I can select pictures or I can select video clips. So I'm just going to do a video clip, just a little effect in the beginning here. It's only a couple seconds long. But that's going to be my start. I'll put that as my start. Okay, now we go on to step two, music. Now, you can either pick a song from your own computer that you have, or you can take one from theirs. So I'm going to just select one from their collection. Um, there's not anything in particular I'm looking for here, but I'll just grab whatever I can, and we'll just go with this one. Just click on the button that says select, continue on, and I get to go to my finalize. Now here's my choices. What's my pace? Do I want the, the pictures to go at half speed, normal, or twice as fast? Um, my video length, I want it to be full length instead of 30 seconds. That's no fun. And that's pretty much it. And then I just click continue, give it a title. I always tell my kids to make sure they don't leave their last name on it. And then I click Create Video. And it will start processing it. And I have to wait a couple minutes. It may take maybe five minutes or so to make. Uh, while that's going, I can go around to different websites. I don't even have to stay online. I can shut down my computer. It will still build it online. So we'll check back in just a couple minutes and see how it looks. Okay, so we're back. And Animoto is done with my video and uh, it's all set for me to play and you can take a quick look at it I'll put it on the big screen here You can see how they do all the transitions and the backgrounds. I didn't have to pick any of that. Okay, and what's nice about it is once we're done, uh, we, we can always 
change things if we don't like it. We can edit it. Uh, we can just do a, a remix and I'll make it brand new. Uh, and what's really what I like is you can embed it into websites, you can share it with your friends, or you can export it. You can send it out to YouTube or you can send it to another uh, site that you like to use. So, all right. Hopefully, you consider using this in your classroom.